Hello everyone, welcome to Pistrix Zone channel and this is a very basic tutorial on how to register or buy a custom domain from Microsoft Azure using your credits. So let's start. First of all, login to uh, login into your Azure portal using your Microsoft account. Okay, now this is the dashboard of our Azure portal. Mm. Okay, now uh, mm, <laughs> to register a new domain, you can say use your existing web app or just create a new one. I'll go by uh, creating a new web app. So just click on new. Wait till it gets loaded. Okay, now click from your create web app. Now give a name to your web app. Just like here I am doing UI points. UI points. Uh, wait till it gets it done. You get a green tick here. Okay. Now uh, after creating this web app without the custom domain, you can access this web app from UI points dot net. Okay. Now just leave uh, every other options as it is and pin to desktop tick this one and create it again with some time with some seconds to get uh, till it gets done okay development in process progress This is my credit, one forty-two dollar remaining. Okay, now our app has been created. It's opening now. Okay, once again, let's go to dashboard. This is our newly created web app. We will register our custom domain through this app. Let's click on it. Hmm. So. Uh, to access this app without a custom domain, this is the URL uipons.azubwebsites.net. Okay, it's getting now opening. Okay, now let's go to custom domain on your left pan. Here, yeah, custom domain, search for custom domain, click on it again wait some time and you'll see option here to buy domain click on it now search for domain type a domain name i'm doing here uipuid dot and internet and hit enter wait for some time till it uh, validates it and search for available domain names okay now this is uh, this domain is available uipon.net Mm, now contact information fill this out first name and then nothing organization nothing email confirm your email Country code. Do your phone number here. Do your phone number here. Yes, address. Do your address here. Just to nothing, country is uh, interior country, state or territory, city, city, postal code done. 
now if when every option gets this just click on ok validating now privacy protection option you can enable it if you like I'm gonna leave it as it is just don't do anything now tick on this both option now the last option is to accept their terms and condition accept it click on ok now it will process validating domain order purchase domain it doesn't take much time just some minutes or less than a minute you can just sit back and watch it When it, is, when it will be successfully processed my credits will also be gone I think it's around $15 domain purchase finished successfully purchased now let's check it out upload uip1.net pending email verification now I'll need to verify my email by opening it you can do that I know ok now an overview So now I'm gonna need to verify my email in order to complete the domain registration process. So for that I will need to log in into my uh, email account which I have entered uh, while I was creating uh, I, while I was creating while I was processing the domain custom domain. You can see pending email verification okay so I've already logged into my email here now I'm g I've got this um, uh, email from Azure saying action required for domain activation just click on it now please verify your email address click on verify after uh, doing this domain registration process will be completed and then the domain will be yours Congratulations, your email has been verified again. Now, let's check it out here. Any verification? It might take some time or longer time, some minutes. So after verifying my email and waiting for some time now I have successfully uh, registered my registered or bought my domain domain name okay so in order but in order to redirect the uh, recently just powered domain uh, to this URL or, the, or, to, or to this app we'll need to set up host names it should have been done automatically when I when I was processing the domain but it didn't so we will have to do it manually so for that go to custom URL custom domain again you can see uip1.net active status now we will need to add host name here and bind them we will add two host names just click on add host name I 
okay i need to tell you something before this if you see here two as names already uh, those are uip1.net and www.uip1.net then you don't need to uh, assign host names again and uh, those are automatically bind bind when you are uh, when you are registering the domain but in my case uh, those two host names are not here that's why i'm doing it manually okay again now i will add the host name add two host names first one is your domain name just type it what was your domain name UIPOND dot net validate it hmm. now a record just add it bind host name wait some time one is done now another one just put www dot again validate it cname add it <coughs> okay now both host names are bind now our custom domain will work properly here you can see web1.net open it UI found now it is opening if you run it www it will also open the same site okay now that's it hope you guys understand and hope this will be helpful to you many of you if you like this video and it worked for you then hit the subscribe button and like this video and support me till then Goodbye. See you in next tutorial. I hope so.